Hello and welcome to my channel, Intuitive Envisions 1111. This is going to be a general reading for the collective of Twin Flames and Soulmates. Just want to give you a heads up warning that this is um, a sexual love passion reading. So if you're a little bit shy about that, you might want to go ahead and click off now because it could get explicit. I don't know what the Divine Masculine might want to say or communicate. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. Um, since this is a general reading, it's not going to resonate every, with everyone, but this is kind of meant to be a little bit fun, but based off real feelings, real thoughts, real desires. So this is um, Cupid's Desires uh, sexual reading that I'm doing here. So I do offer personal readings if you're wanting to uh, book a personal reading with me. That information is below down in the description and along with my uh, Instagram account info. And if you want to support the channel, that information as well. Also, if you've booked a reading and have not heard back from me, because I'm still waiting for a confirmation from you. Okay. So um, when I refer to divine masculine or divine feminine, I'm referring to energies and not a specific gender. So you can be a divine masculine and be a female you know, just take it how it resonates. Oh, that card wanted to show itself. I wasn't done talking. Um, this is house. So I'm just going to put that back in here. These are the Kipper cards. Um, spirit is a little bit anxious, I think. So this um, reading, um, oh, before I talk about that, I just want to say these energies can be flipped. I'm going to base this on how the divine masculine is seeing the divine feminine, but this could be your desires about divine masculine if you are a divine uh, feminine um, so when I say you he she that person um, that could be you or the person that you're um, thinking about so just you know keep that in mind as well my, my goodness that was probably me but I guess it wanted to be shown metamorphosis <laughs> just in case these cards come back out um, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna see what room we're in where this um these conversations are going to take place about you know the situation the sexual desires and things of that nature and then we're going to see what the conversation subject is going to be about and then we're going to go on um, from there okay so again don't laugh at me when i shuffle these little heart cards because they're a little bit challenging <laughs> and i have not got used to them these called the lovers oracle so i'm still trying to like you know get into the swing of it so anyways let me go ahead and go forward so the first thing we're going to see where this conversation is taking place what area or what room again like i said these are the kipper cards so i pretty much shuffled them already so i'm going to go ahead and go forward okay so this conversation uh, desires and things that are going to take place in the family room and so this could be an intimate room this could be where you know you share personal things intimate matters uh, secrets are being uh, told here as well so this conversation is taking place in the family room okay and then we'll see what else is going to go on um, from that I'm not going to look at the bottom cards like I normally do because this is going to be like a really a focus uh, reading. So what subject um, is going to be discussed in this um, love reading with the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine? Um, what is he wanting to talk about um, sexually or, you know, to get this conversation going? These are the Mystic Moon um, Oracle cards, the Twin Flames. So we'll see what's the subject matter will be in this family room soulmate so we'll be discussing um the divine masculine wants to discuss his relationship you know this is a true love type of feeling as you see he's down on one knee and um he's ready to um i'm just picking up he's ready to submit to the divine feminine okay so he wants to discuss this soulmate conversation all right so now let's go ahead and watch me shuffle these little heart cards and pray for the best. <laughs> so we're going to see what the current situation is between you and the divine masculine, why you're needing to have this conversation. 
um, or why you are, um, you know, why you're here discussing the sexual or uh, about your desires and hopes and things like that. What is the current situation in that department, in the love department, I should say? Okay, we're just going to go with this. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. Okay, so the situation is you wondering about what could you do? Like, what is your um, your pleasures? Is that's that's what I'm getting right here is what um, the bimasculine is asking. Okay, so these are the um, tarot of the sexual magic cards and I didn't get to shuffle these. So I'm going to shuffle them just really quick and see what this uh, situation is. Okay, and we have the four of chalices, which is the four of cups. And as you see, the, in this depiction, um, Divine Feminine is um, talking to him. He's kind of like not paying attention. Um, and he's like, you know, looking over, you know, at other things. There's a magnet, there's some scissors and things. So he could be thinking about um, what, you know, what he wants to do. Okay. This is also, um, a card of missing, you know, out on, um, opportunity. This is contemplation, but so this is in the thought of, um, contemplation because if you could do anything, what could it be? So you both are in this energy because the two of you are in this card of what would you like to do, um, sexually, um, to the other. If you could do, you know, anything, you know, what, what would that be? Okay. So that, that is wondering. So the divine masculine, I'm picking up on both the divine masculine and divine feminine energy. You both are wondering, uh, what, what would you do? Um, if you were able to right now. All right. So <laughs> I'm just, this is just crazy with me shuffling these cards. I may have to just start laying them out <laughs> cause it's just, it's not working out the best. All right. So how is um, Divine Masculine um, currently seeing you, the Divine Feminine? How is the Divine Masculine currently seeing the Divine Feminine? Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all your heart truly desires. Okay, so he's seeing that he wants to bless you with his love and that you deserve, you know, all of this, everything that you're wanting, you're desiring, um, you're hoping for, and he's planning on, you know, making that happen. All right, let me get another card here for this of how he's seeing you. Okay, and we've got the three of pinnacles. And so he's seeing you as he wants to pick you up and caress you, um, hold you, kiss you passionately and, you know, um, you know, do other things. He wants to work on it because this is a three of pinnacles. So this is about building something. So this is about, um, you know, that build up uh, to something really, really great. So I'm, I'm like I said, I'm sensing like a divine masculine that passion is building is very um, sexually frustrated when it comes to the divine feminine and he's wanting to hold her he's just ready to um, he, he sees her as him picking um, her up and holding her very uh, passionately okay so what's working in divine feminine's uh, favor What's working in Divine Feminine's favor in this um, passion and this love connection between them? Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, 
it will automatically transform. So this is like, I'm getting a message from Spirit too, is saying um, this is something that is needed by both, but especially Divine Feminine to trust in the situation, even if you can't see it. Um, that, so that's working in um, your favor is having trust. And that's what I'm picking up that a lot of you guys do have trust and you are um, trusting that this will, you know, work out somehow, even though you may be, you know, doing other things, but you're trusting that all of this is going to take place. And that's what's working in your favor. And the Divine Masculine could also be trusting that the Divine Feminine is going to, um, you know, come through for him in the way of accepting it. He may feel nervous, but um, deep down, he might feel that she is going to um, accept um, his offer in the long run. Okay, so let me see what else is working in your favor. And we have the, um, what is this card? The Queen of Wands. Oh, okay. All right. So this is about, um, Queen of Wands is very passionate, warm, honest. And as you see, like he's entranced by her. She's beautiful and, um, she's, uh, sexy, sexy and sexual. And he's just like, you see the fire is lit there. Okay. So he is, um, What's working in your favor is this is um, the passion that he has for the Divine Feminine. As you see in this card too, here in this energy, there's a lot of fire back there, okay? And he's ready, he's ready to take this, you know, to the family room and, um, <laughs> you know, get it going. And he knows, I mean, he has trust and uh, faith in this situation. And so this is, this is working in Divine uh, Feminine's uh favor is this passion this passion energy so i'm not feeling that the queen of wands is divine feminine and then okay what is the built up uh frustration what's the built up frustration that divine masculine has towards um divine feminine that he would uh like to express what's the built up frustration divine masculine has towards divine feminine that he, <laughs> that he would like to express when you pass from this world you take nothing uh, with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love okay so um, I'm sensing that this has to do with this soulmate being face to face but I'm going to go ahead and get more because that um that is a little, uh, I don't know, what do you call it? I don't know what the word I'm trying to use. Uh, I'm perplexed for words. I, I can't think of the words. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you guys will probably figure it out. What I'm just saying is I don't know what to say for that situation yet. And I need another card to see what built up frustration he has sexually. And we have the um, death card. Okay, so this is about major transformation. Okay, change. He wants to end, you know, all the old energy is what I'm, I'm sensing and bring in the new. Like, and also like, <laughs> um, he, he wants to... <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing because I wanted to say this because I'm a little bit shy, but you know, I, we're all very sexual, you know, when it comes down to it, when we need to be. And I'm, I'm just feeling like he wants to like, he wants to, you know, beat it up. <laughs> That's kind of like with the words I'm hearing right now. I'm sorry. Like he just wants to destroy it. Like he wants to like, you know, really, you know, go for it, you know, really uh, master it you know, change this because it's, you know, in that old energy and just bring in this new, uh, this new passion. That's what I'm getting. Okay. <laughs> if that makes sense to you guys. All right. So what is divine masculine, divine mask? I can't even talk anymore. I'm like all stuttering and stuff. <laughs> Blushing. If you could see my face right now, I'll probably turn a red. Okay, so um, what does Divine Masculine love about 
divine feminine the most? What does he love about you the most? What does divine masculine love about the divine feminine the most? Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is uh, only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So what I'm seeing is that he likes uh, about you the most that you you are true, like you are yourself, you're you're real. You don't try to be ten, uh, you don't try to pretend to be anybody else. You're just you you know, good or bad, you express yourself, you know, um, and, and you're, you're just true. So that's what I'm, I'm sensing here. Okay. All right. And so then we get one more card and then what is the one, oh wait, before I do that, I need to get one for that. What he loves about you the most. And we have the two of cups, two of chalices. You have the soulmate there. So he definitely, this is a definitely a soulmate uh, reading, uh, possibly even a twin flame connection. But what he loves about you the most um, is just being uh, with you here in, in a sexual uh, manner that he looks at you and he knows who you are and he feels um safe and warm what I'm feeling like he just feels this passion and um just I'm just sensing like a, a home energy and just a very loving uh energy true so this also said in here about being true so true true love that's what I'm I'm sensing here okay that's what I'm getting from that card and then so for the final one we got what is what is the one thing, um, I'm looking at my notes here. Okay, what is the one thing that Divine Masculine is sure about when it comes to you? What is the one thing that Divine Masculine is sure about when it comes to you? Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. See in that card there? There is that lover's embrace there. So I'm sensing that he is sure about like when you hold him, when you embrace him, that is real. Like he can feel you. He can feel your soul. He can feel, you know, alive. He feels that it's just real. There's nothing fake about it. Okay. And that's what he's sure about. I'm going to get one more card. And then we have the world card, okay? So, um, and he's sure that you make him feel complete. Um, and as you see, he's down there at the bottom and he's, he's at her feet. I didn't mean to make that rhyme, but I guess it did. <laughs> um, anyway, he's sure that he wants to be right there at your side, at your feet, at your beck and call. Um, he's sure that you complete him. Um, that's what I'm seeing and I'm seeing the the dove here that he feels at peace. He feels at home um, This is what he's sure about that. He wants to be by your side um, That feeling is um, very real. Okay, and this the world card is also about reunion um, as well, so he's also sure that he wants to start a new chapter with you All right, you guys, so I'm going to get three messages that Divine Masculine would like to tell you um, at this time. And that will be the end of the reading. I meant to use a Romance Angel card, but I'll just save that for next time. I guess it just was not meant to be for this reading. My mind and heart always comes back to you. So the Divine Masculine wants you to know that he's always thinking about you through his head, through his feelings. It always comes back to you. We will be together again. So he wants you to know you guys are going to be together. There's that world card. That's the reunion.
would you reject me? So he's thinking about this and he's just afraid. He's worried that you might possibly reject him. And with this soulmate here energy with him down on his knees, I think he's he's hoping and praying and begging that you will not reject him. And he wants to come forward. OK, and he's just worried that you might reject him. All right, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little sexual reading that took place in the family room with your soulmate. And um, I thank you guys so much for watching. If that if you like that reading, it resonated with you. Um, please let me know in the comments, like and share. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, again, I do offer personal readings. If you want to book with me, that information is below. Um, thanks again, you guys. Uh, I thank each and every one of you. I appreciate you very much. Thanks for watching. Have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.